Hello, hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today, darling, we're going to have a little bit of fun with tarot cards today. We're going to be seeing through tarot Aries to see who is coming towards you today. Well, I guess more than just today, but who is coming towards you in general right now, Aries. Um, you know, who it is, what their intentions are, darling. You know, and just see what kind of messages we can get. So how this is going to work, Aries, is I'm going to be pulling the cards for this person coming towards you right now, and I'm going to describe what it is I'm seeing the personality type and all those little details darling with the tarot and then it's up to you Aries to use your intuition to see how it fits into your life and see if you, you know this could be a past ex relationship coming towards you uh, you know a past a past ex situation right whether it's a friend or a relationship or what have you this could be someone that you recently had a little bit of tiff with Aries right and there's been a little bit of silence so you're just wanting to see what it is that they're thinking right now Aries or this could be a situation of someone completely new stepping forward to you Aries right it's up to you because you know your situation better than i ever possibly could darling so let's get into this reading for you aries we have two cards that stepped forward and i really get this strong sense here aries that it's an air sign coming in here uh for you because we have the judgment card as well as the eight of swords coming in for you now um <sighs> this is an interesting energy aries this is someone who kind of this is someone who's extremely self-aware, Aries, but this is also someone who's self-aware of what it is that they do, but they also still, at some level, kind of uh, sabotage a little bit, right? This is someone who gets in their head a lot. I wouldn't be surprised, uh, Aries, if this person was pretty insecure about um, what it is that they do or how they present themselves, right? Because this is someone who really is in their head. This is someone who questions a lot about their actions and just, you know, this is always someone who probably just apologizes and being like, you know, like you stub your toe, Aries, and like this person would be the one to apologize even though they have nothing to do with it. So right off the bat, Aries, this is someone who um <laughs> definitely need some therapy honey. <laughs> to be a blunt here let's see what oracle cards step for and this came out quick we have number 52 equaling to seven aries uh the scarab beetle magic works through you so this is someone that you've been trying to manifest this is someone that i feel like you already have connected to on at one point um aries or at the very least you have an impression of what this person would be like um because this shows to me that you've been manifesting them they probably are spiritually inclined as well aries a little bit this tried to come out as well the skunk spirit uh 54 equaling to nine knowing your worth so yeah libra this uh, libra i just did libra's reading that's why uh aries this is definitely someone who you've been trying to attract in your life whether it's this person in specific and trying to bring them back into your life or come into your life in a more official way aries or whether this is just you know maybe you have like a journal and you have like the attributes that you have written down for what you want out of your next friendship what you want out of your next relationship aries this is letting me know that you have been actively in the works of trying to create this so um, since this came up, I would almost be possible to say, Aries, that this is about you. Um, that this is something that you a little bit kind of share this kind of quality with them in a little bit. And so it's like almost reflecting in what it is that you're manifesting, who it is you're bringing forward. They kind of are mirroring some of your own issues, if that makes sense, um, Aries. Not to call y'all out. I know y'all kind of like didn't anticipate me coming out of left field with that, Aries. But it is giving me this distinction with these oracle cards here of how this is bringing up more so about you. It's showing to me, especially since two cards came out for this, Aries and normally I take one for this to get their impression, I do feel like this is a trait that you both kind of share. I do feel like you both are spiritually inclined a little bit, and I do feel like you both are just a little bit in your head. Um, and I'm not, so I'm not saying it's your fault, Aries, in the sense that you manifested this person who's insecure or in, like, has, is in their head a lot, but I more so mean in the sense that, you know, what we're putting out there in the universe, at least what I believe in, Aries, you know, you have to be careful. Anytime you do any type of manifest, station ritual work darling or anything like that your energy is going to be connected to that so if you have these issues darling you're going to put that out into the world and that's what you're going to attract a little bit of right that's what i'm trying to imply by this right we all have our issues darling we all have our insecurities it's just a matter if they have if someone's pulling some tarot cards and calling them out on it right 
So let's get a little bit more detail on this areas. Let's step into this a little bit more, but this is definitely someone that you've been trying to bring into your life. Some of you guys, I definitely do feel like you've already connected to them on some level, but you're just craving something more depthful with them, or you're trying to at the very least understand them a little bit more, um, Aries. So we have the strength card coming in here, uh, for you, Aries paired with, it keeps coming out in twos. I almost want to tell you, Aries, to write down the number two, um, for numerology just because things keep on coming out in twos for you um which also i want to just point out just from like the subliminal because that's part of my job as a tarot reader is to see like the subliminal messages spirit's trying to bring in to hone in on this because twos keep on coming in here one i won't be surprised if we see like a two of cups but this is kind of like this sense of like two peas in a pod so i do feel strongly in that areas that you two like the connection that you two will have like once there is some more depth here like you guys would be two peas in a pod like you guys would really click ace of wands and the strength card though coming in for you Aries so this is a situation here of where they're someone that's extremely in their head but they kind of work through their fears this is someone again like they're self-aware of what it is that they're doing and self-aware of like their own sabotaging behaviors and you know how they should work on their insecurities and all that someone's aware of this and they're actively doing the work to overcome this area so i am getting someone who is definitely at the very least probably big on character development aries on some level someone who's very much so just in this impression and it's like how these cards are playing out i really do f yeah i do feel as if this is someone who's heavily into character development it's part of the reason why i feel like they are spiritually inclined um this is someone who definitely is not afraid of working on themselves and calling themselves out Aries which I feel like is a very good energy for you to be around because you know you're kind of blunt with yourself and you can't really be around someone who can't handle being called out as well don't you think Aries let's continue on page of pentacles coming in here so they could be the one communicating they could be um Aries at one point if you guys first initially engaged this is someone that probably first extended out the communication towards you um someone who probably is a little bit self-sufficient working in the same field i just got as you um so a similar interest in the sense of like maybe not in the same workplace but i feel like maybe um like i do f i just feel like aries you guys share a lot of similarities right and i know for some people this would be like their sign of being like oh is this like a soulmate or is this like a twin flame darling i'm not here to inject that because it's not my place to say for that for something like that right but i do feel like strongly at some point um aries there was some type of communication that happened between you two even if it was just like a pr brushing on by or it's like you guys know of each other right or at least they know of you we have the six of pentacles coming in here all right so this is definitely a situation now i want to get another one actually four of pentacles all right so Aries, here's the storyline that i'm getting here i feel like you guys have connected before and i feel like you guys have connected before you guys have like past eye contact something some type of interaction was had at one point and i'm seeing this sense of where you both kind of mirror each other you guys have so many similarities with one another that you guys kind of like end up putting yourself both in the situation of like over analyzing the other person being like oh do they like me do they not what have you you guys are both so much in your head Aries and that like neither of you ever take action took action beforehand and I'm seeing now something kind of develops in, in the future for for you Aries where six of pentacles four of pentacles comes in as this nice balance where it's like it's going to be this uh, good communication coming in equal communication transparency four of pentacles lets me know of a situation where someone's just like hey like i want to invest in you i want to put more energy in this connection aries so this is definitely someone who maybe at one point wasn't able to vocalize this or maybe they were shy about it at one point but i do see with the page of pentacles very grounded energy this is someone that knows what it is that they want Aries. they know what it is that they want now maybe before they didn't really know and they weren't really sure right or maybe they had to go through their own like whatever but this is someone that really wants to invest in you uh Aries. so let's see here we have the sun card coming in as well sun card is the best card in the deck this is showing to me someone who i really i at this point aries and i'm gonna say i do feel like this person is very spiritual um because this is someone who i am seeing as pretty high vibrational and so when you see like this someone that's in their head 
right? And this self-awareness, but they're also exuding this high vibration. And this is showing to me someone that is using, that is actively doing the work, Aries. This is someone who um, is actively trying to self-improve, is just very self-aware and holding themselves accountable. And, you know, they're very good at reminding themselves of the game that living this life is. They don't take life too seriously, right? They may be extremely grounded, right? They're extremely grounded, but they also are able to be, you know, with the flow on things a little bit. Uh, we have the Five of Swords in the reverse coming in here, Aries. So, hmm. this is an interesting energy, Aries. This is someone, I'm getting this impression where, um, someone who's a little bit outspoken, Aries, you might, you know, maybe this is what kind of caused you guys not to really connect too much initially. I feel like someone kind of rubbed you, the other one the wrong way. I feel like this person kind of would say something and you're just like, what? Like, you didn't really know what to make of it, right? I kind of feel like this is someone that can, like, put their foot in their mouth. Three of cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is someone that kind of probably puts their foot in their mouth, doesn't really get along with that many people. It probably takes a lot for this uh, person to really connect with one another. You know, this is probably a connection that you wouldn't really anticipate, uh, Aries, I would even say. I feel like this is, yeah, four of swords coming in here. This is a situation where it's like one of those um, areas, maybe no one's going to understand this reference, but I feel like, you know, uh, as we like mature, as we develop, you know, our taste in people and like what we're searching out of a connection just changes, whether it's romantic or whether it's platonic, darling, it doesn't matter. Or they, they just really refine themselves. And I feel like this is kind of a connection coming in of where it's like refined, like after a refinement happens, where it's just like, you wouldn't really anticipate the connection to work out, but after some refinement, after like the maturing of taste in both sides, like you guys, like a connection that you really be like, how do you, how do these two make it work, right? How do, they don't look like they have anything in common, right? You have like the bubblegum, like princess over here and then like some goth, like wearing all black over here. And you're just like, how can they be friends, right? Obviously that's not, that's like a, a ignorant kind of mindset to have, but it's in the sense of, where it's like, I do feel like you guys, oddly enough, have a lot of similarities, but no one would really anticipate it. This one, someone, I, the only way I can kind of compare them to, and I mean it in the best of way, is like, it feels like their social ability is very much so like a, um, like Goofy from Mickey Mouse Aries. Not in the sense that that's their personality is like Goofy, but it's like, I feel like in the sense of where... They don't know. It's more, I don't want to say that. It's more so like, oh, bless your heart, <laughs> right? They'll say something like, oh, like, you don't mean it. You don't realize how you're coming off as, do you? Bless your heart. Um, but yeah, Aries, let's pull one more Oracle card, though, before we close out this reading for you. Oh, this person coming in. Aries, there's been this fly. I cannot get rid of it. No matter what I do, darling, it's, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's been driving me nuts. So if you've been seeing it flying around, just know I've been battling with this fly for like an hour. We have the blue herring card. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what you feel is right in spite of judgment or disapproval from others. So Aries, this is definitely someone who's very unapologetically themselves. So I am going to stand firmly in that this is someone who's very outspoken. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they have like a public speaking role or if they speak to a group of people people all the time and so they're outspoken but they're not like social inept they're not socially inept in the sense that they don't know how to communicate with others it's just that they're going to say what's on their mind and they're not going to see like understand like why someone would be like upset right they're going to just speak your truth their truth and like if that truth offends you then it's like well what do you want me to do about it, right? That's kind of energy that I feel from them. So yeah, Aries, that's the reading that I have for you, darling. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you found some cards that resonated. If you enjoyed this reading, my website down below is simply Velka. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, Aries, along with my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, darling, it's all just simply Velka. And I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future, Aries. If you did enjoy this reading, I do your weekly horoscope reading every single week, Aries, and I'll leave a link to it somewhere around here, darling, for you to check out. But yeah, I love you so much, Aries.